Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the Fle Hamilton Beach Flex Brew model number 49904. So my unit has not failed, but I've had several viewers uh, leave comments that theirs have failed with fill H2O or the word overload on the display. And there's a lot of questions of why when you're doing a um, K-cup side, there's a bunch of water going on the carafe side. I'm gonna try to explain all that. Now I was able to disassemble mine a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to do that. These coffee makers were not really meant to come apart. So let's talk about the fill H2O first. So there could be two or three things with the fill H2O when you're trying to do a cake up. That's the coffee maker is telling you that it needs some water. Even though you've got water in the reservoir and it's full, it's not sensing that it's full. Now it could be that the logic gets mixed up you're on craft and then you try to do it, like say you press a brew button, if there's no water on the craft side, you'll also get that fill H2O. So even though it may, you may have the light over here that says you're on a single serve side, logically inside it may be still on the craft side. So what you gotta do is unplug it for about 20 minutes, plug it back in, and then try, make sure you select this and see if it works then. So the next thing it could be is underneath the water reservoir, there is a screen there. So you could have some junk in there. You may need to get a brush and use some water and kind of flush that area out, but there is a screen right there. And lift up on the bottom of that, of that plunger and make sure water comes out the bottom of the tank. And I also have a separate video on how to clean the needles, but this part up here does come off and we can clean that top needle and make sure that bottom needle is cleaned with a paper clip. I'm thinking these things could also cause your overload light too, for it to say overload. Okay, so here we have the bottom of the coffee maker. So originally I took these screws out, they don't do any good. Um, and I took the feet off, the, just leave the feet in and all the screws in on the bottom. We don't, we're not gonna gain any access to anything from the bottom. And if you do try to take those screws out, they're just a really small straight slot is what you use. Now, when you do go to open these sides, make sure it's unplugged. There is electricity inside there, so be careful. Okay, so on the this side here, the carafe side, I took this side off. I've not seen many complaints about the carafe side, and I, I didn't gain access to a whole lot, but you just have to pry it off. You've got to get a screwdriver in here. You've got to start off with a really small screwdriver, and you're just going to have to disengage these clips. The bigger ones are in the back. And I found it's easier to wait till the end to do those. But once you get it started, you'll hear them pop off. And then you can just pop them all off, all the way around, and then kind of tilt it. And then these back ones, these are kind of the bigger clips, and I did break one. You, those will pop off also. So again, this is on the craft side. You're going to have the water. It's going to come down. There's a heating element. And then it's going to get shot back up this other tube over the coffee grounds. It's going to come out right here to go over the coffee grounds. And if you're curious what that might look like, here's another one out of a different coffee maker, but the water's gonna come in, it'll get superheated, and then shot out this other pipe to go over the coffee grounds. And I cut it open. This is why we descale coffee makers. We're gonna be descaling the heating element. This is an aluminum heating element. So check out my other video on how to descale this coffee maker. But the same heating element is what also heats the carafe. So they heat this same heating element up to keep the coffee warm. Okay, onto the K-cup side. This side was a lot harder to take off, but it has the exact same, um, you gotta pry it apart, and I did scrape it a little bit at the bottom, but if you pry these off, these are just tabs, they will all start to pop off, and then you can get more off, more off, and then there's these bigger ones on the back side. Leave those for last. But start with a small screwdriver, you just got to get it. You're just going to have to get in there and pry it and then get a bigger one. And once you get two or three of these tabs off, then it will start to come off. So again, the one I have here is not broke. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, we're going to brew a cake up and I'm going to show you how everything operates. And then I'm going to show you kind of some things that I see that might go wrong. Okay. So in general terms, the water is going to come down. There's a water pump right here. It's going to suck the water out of the reservoir. It's going to push it through the heating element. Then there's this box here and there's another water pump. So the, the heated water is gonna go into this box 
at the bottom of this box, this water pump is going to suck it out of there and shoot it out of this tube into the K cup. But there's this vent on the top of this box. There's a vent and that's what goes over to the craft side. So this great big tube coming out of this box, you'll see it, it goes right there to the craft side. And if we look here, this little piece comes off. That's just a vent. There's just a hole. On the other side of that hole is that great big tube that goes to the top of that box. So again, this is just a little piece. So I think a lot of people are saying, hey, I got a bunch of water. And, and I'm the one that said it too. When I first did this, I'm like, why am I getting steam and, and water on the craft side when I do a K-cup? So I think you're mainly getting steam unless you have a problem. If you have a problem, you might get a bunch of water. Now, now unlike Keurig's, this has two water pumps. A Keurig's have one water pump and an air pump. This one has a water pump here and a water pump up there. Okay, so I started the brew. So what's happening is this water pump is working. It is taking water out of the bottom of the reservoir it's sending it through the heating element. It comes out of the heating element really hot to this back pipe right back there. And it goes into this, this like holding chamber or something. And then this pump is gonna suck the water out of this holding chamber and come out this tube. This tube goes into the K cup. That goes into the top of the K cup. Now what I see there is a bunch of steam and some big water droplets coming out of the top of this holding chamber, like this box. And if we go over to the craft side, that's where all that, all of that steam is coming right out of this, that hole that I showed you right there. And it ends up being just water in the bottom of this. So it could be one of the water pumps goes bad. It could be that a line is blocked or a line has come off. Now that heating element is very hot, so do not touch it. And I don't recommend doing this with it powered on. So this, what I noticed is this pump stops first. And then this pump kind of just sucks this thing dry to kind of clean out the lines. And I, if these pumps fail, I don't have a part number and I don't know where to get these pumps. They look like they would be somewhat easy to replace, but I just don't have a part number. So some of my viewers have said they get a bunch of water and steam on the craft side. So that might be the case. Let's, let's say this pump is not working. If this pump fails, then the water is going to build up in here and it's not really going to have anywhere else to go except out this big tube. So that could be the case that this pump has failed or that this needle is blocked. So in my needle, uh, how to unclog the needle video, I show you how to take this off. And this is pretty simple to clean the needle, but you, there is a tube that goes from here all the way to here, which could be plugged. And that would cause water to come out on the craft side and not come out on the cake up side. So up here on this, you may have to clean this more with maybe like a brush. Now I'm not able to get this, there's like a 90 degree bend in here. I'm not able to get it past a certain point, but it may require more than a paper clip to continue to clean this, get this nice and unclogged. Because this is pretty simple to tell if you've got it unclogged. It's a nice big hole. A paper clip does a really good job of seeing whether you've got this needle uh, all unclogged. So if you've got a bunch of water leaking out the bottom, it could be simply one of these tubes has come off. They do have zip ties on them, but in previous uh, Hamilton Beach coffee makers, the tube did come off on some coffee makers. And that way the water would just spill out the bottom and come out the bottom. So I'm just gonna give you a close up. There is a micro switch here that lets you know when you've got the K cup door open. So when you've got it closed, you can see the micro switch makes. This is where the water comes in to the pump. Like there's a pump right here. It comes into the pump from the water reservoir. That's what this tube is right here. Goes to the bottom of there. So make sure that that is all nice and clean. And then this has 
a, like a coffee maker heating element for just the K-cup side. So you have two, two heating elements that need descaled separately. So it's hard to tell. I think these are good coffee makers. I think they just sell a bunch of them. So anytime you sell a bunch of product, you know, if you sell a million of them and you have 5,000 that are bad, that's 5,000 that are bad, but maybe in the scheme of things, it's not quite um, that bad. So I just want to try and help. I think the biggest thing was, um, is when we were caught off guard seeing steam come over on this craft side, that was the first thing with this that I thought, man, I'm doing a K-cup side. Why is there anything going over to the craft side? I've never seen that before in a coffee maker. But I promised a couple viewers, um, they were having some problems with theirs, that I would do a video. Opening it up was a little tricky at first, but it, it, I was able to open it up. So let's just see how putting it back together, how hard that is. So just snap them on, push, push these on. I think it's gonna look pretty good. So the bottom's turning out to be, a, it's got a little lip. So put the bottom in first and then go around and snap it on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this off. See how you just, just have to unsnap those. Let's put the bottom in. Okay, so with just a little, I had to kind of get a screwdriver and kind of pry that lip back on the bottom side of this. Everything just snapped right back together. Everything just snapped right back together. There's a couple pry marks, but it looks really good. I'm gonna be doing several other videos. Um, there's lots of people having problems with Keurig k duels. I, I bought some Keurig k duels that are broke. I'm gonna be taking those apart. So thanks everybody for watching and thanks everybody for your support.